myth or considered sacred stories that deal with origins and explanations of natural phenomena and human institutions. We are going to show you about one of urban legends in Yogyakarta. It is about the appearance of invisible beings in Jalan Kuspi. Some people believe that the invisible beings is often appear at night when the road is silent. During the day, this road is not as crowded as the previous road. At night, this road is more and more silent. Less people pass this road. We also cannot find the street merchant like what we found during the day. Along this road, there are so many big trees which exist since long time ago. The trees make this road become creepier at night. But it's not only because the big trees, but also because of this road is located next to Balayasa, a garage for broken tree. Balayasa is the place where the broken tree is repaired. And of course, some of the tree broke because of Accident. Beside, in the end of this road, there is a Langan Sari that had already been destroyed. People believe that SD Langan Sari's ambience is eerie. Moreover, the housing complex is also believed to be one of the factors that make the road become creepy because the housing complex near the road was built during the colonialism era as we can see from its style and construction and here is what people say about the road Ada orang di situ, itu ditambahin kocong itu loh mas. Ya itu cuma cerita mas. Bapak tuanya dari? Ya, dari orang-orang itu. Kalau daerah sini ya sering dengar-dengar aja sih dari ya orang-orang yang saya kenal. Hmm. Yang daerah sini kalau lewat tengah malam ya harus sepiyo. Kasarane kita permisi lah kayak ada lampu dan sebagainya. Teman temannya teman saya itu pernah mendapatkan interaksi dengan cara di apa namanya didorong didorong sama didorong sama yang makhluk makhluk yang gaib hmm. kalau rumahnya ya lumayan serem rata-rata itu di kamar mandi mau pengalaman teman saya itu dia mandi pada malam hari mau aduan tiba-tiba ada yang tepuk matanya hampir semuanya di sini rata-rata peninggalan Belanda ya pak? ya peninggalan Belanda semua bangunan ya dilihat dari pohon-pohon besar yang di jajaran sekitar sini bangunan-bangunan yang tua yang ini milik-milik jaga semua sama ya di balai asanya sendiri kan pastinya banyak barang-barang yang tidak dipakai dan pastinya menjadi perantara untuk makhluk baik itu tinggal. Kalau saya ya percaya mah enggak itu memang ada. Ya. Ya tempatnya serem gitu. The urban legend of Jalan Kuspini cannot be proven. It's just believed by some people and it just spread from mouth to mouth. We 
you do not know whether this group of legend is true or not. And it's up to you to believe it or not. But if you dare enough to prove this urban legend, just go to Jalan Kuspini at night by yourself and feel the ambience.